So in this video, I'm going to show you how I create my line drawings uh, for my tutorials. So first of all, I create a new layer. I then come over to my uh, tool panel here and choose the pencil tool. Then I change my color to a bright color. I usually use red or blue. And then I come up to my system preferences and I choose sidecar. Um, and then I connect to my iPad, which is right next to me. The two connect. And then I take the image on the screen and literally because it's side card, I can I can use my iPad as, a, as an extra screen uh, to my Mac. So I just literally get hold of the um, the Photoshop window and I drag it across and bring it onto my iPad. So once your new window is on your iPad screen, if you just uh, click the little green button which fills your window to the screen, check that your layers are on the, the, the separate layer rather than the background, grab your Apple Pencil and start to draw. Literally just draw around the shape I can use my um, iPad keyboard if I want, or I can use my uh, Mac keyboard. You can see I've gone a bit wonky there because I'm drawing at a very strange angle. So you can enlarge the picture. You can do anything that you would on Photoshop. And then you just come in and you draw on the screen with your pencil. It's much, much easier to draw with um, a pencil than drawing with your mouse. Uh, so I've used a Wacom pad before. I've used uh, the iPad. I've tried to create the line drawing sort of within within Photoshop itself, uh, you know, with the tools that they've got. But I find that the best way to create just a really simple line drawing is um, just on my iPad with my Apple Pencil. You can you can create your own using, uh, you know, freehand. You don't have to create a line art like this. For me, this is the quickest, most efficient way of creating a line drawing for one of my tutorials. I can just put all of the details in that I need. Um, and, um, and, and there we go. On a separate layer, so I can just save the line drawing as a separate J JPEG and um, share that when I share the video and then my students can just download the line art and use it to um, create their piece from. And when you've finished, you just come back to System Preferences, you click on Sidecar, click on Disconnect, and your image will then appear back on your desktop in Photoshop. So you can come back in and sort of drag that window back in, make it the right size. And you can um, you can see that line art on its separate layer and um, use it use it as you will. So let's just open the layers up here. You can see we've got, if we turn the background layer off, you can see the layer one there on its own, the line art on its own, which is fab. Um, and um, what we're going to do now is just create or swap the, the red to the black. So I'm just going to hover over the top of the, uh, the layer and hold down my command key and click. And you'll see that it selects the, uh, the red line there. So all I need to do now is come back over to my colors and uh, swap it back to black and then I can just fill that red line with black instead of the red and you can see there that now we've got a nice black line in there rather than a red one it doesn't matter you can keep it as red if you like and we can now save that one layer as a separate file um, you know mouse line art and that line art JPEG will then be saved with the video and the reference folder and everything like like that for my students to be able to create their own from.